All right, welcome back everyone to Self Principle, where we bring you the latest evidence-based health, nutrition, and wellness research. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now in today's video, we're gonna be discussing a recent study that's comparing the benefits of potatoes and beans when it comes to sugar control and weight loss. So let's dive into it. Now, when we look at potatoes, I really think potatoes have gotten a bad reputation because of the fact that they tend to have a higher glycemic index going on. But what's interesting about potatoes and what's something that people don't quite understand is potatoes tend to be very low in terms of fat. Remember, fat tends to have more calories. And overall, potatoes are actually a low energy density food going on. Now, what's really fascinating about potatoes is when you cook potatoes and then you let them cool, you actually end up creating essentially a slow digestible starch going on. We call that resistant starch type 3 going on. And this type of starch is something that's not easily digested in our small intestine. But what ends up happening is it tends to ferment in our large intestine. Now, this fermentation process tends to create all sorts of beneficial compounds. We've talked about that in our channel before going on. And what that tends to do is help our gut out, number one. And number two, it can also lead to lower sugar levels going on inside our bodies. On the flip side, we have beans. Beans are really a powerhouse. There are so many benefits going on to beans that we have talked about many times before. But some of those main benefits are that they're linked to reduce insulin resistance and they're also linked to weight loss. We'll present the data again for those of you guys who might have missed the previous episodes on that. But beans also have resistant starch type 3. Once again, why is that good? Because that's the type that is harder to break down in our guts going on. So there's a new study that was published in the Journal of Medicinal Food where the researchers randomized 36 participants who had insulin resistant. And they basically had this study going on for about eight weeks where they gave these folks low energy density diets. And in these diets, they either had them go through potatoes or beans. Now, the key here is low energy density diet. So this wasn't potatoes filled with bacon or lots of cheese or all sorts of sour cream going on. This is a low energy density diet. So it means this is basically potatoes or it's basically beans going on. And the way the diets were designed were these were controlled diets. So each group got about 50 to 55% carbohydrates, 30 to 35% fats, and 15 to 20% protein going on. And each meal in the potato group had a side of potatoes, and each meal in the bean group had a no surprise side of beans going on. So what the participants were really trying to do was every time they ate, the idea was that how would this impact a change in blood sugar and how would this impact their overall weight loss going on? So both of the groups had about 18 people, but at the end of the study, there were about 14 individuals in the potato group, 17 were left over in the bean group going on. And what they found at the end of the study was a couple of really interesting things. The first one was they looked at something known as HOMA IR. And HOMA IR is a way of measuring insulin resistance going on. And what they were able to show was that from a baseline, there was a similar drop in insulin resistance in the bean group as in the potato group. In other words, both the bean group and the potato group had a similar drop in insulin resistance. There was a 1.3 point decrease in the potato group, and there was a 1.4 decrease in the bean group going on. Just so you know, that is a pretty decent drop going on in insulin resistance. Now, in terms of both groups, they had about an 88% compliance in both groups, which is very decent. And when they looked at weight loss going on, the average weight reduction was about 5.8 kilograms in the potato group and about a 4 kilogram in the bean group. Now, keep in mind, both of these groups are in a very controlled environment. They're being given the food going on, and the food that they're being given is a low energy density food, meaning they're just being given potatoes, not the loaded potatoes that we would have on the street. But the bottom line that you can take away from this study is, is that if you look at potatoes by themselves, having some potatoes in your diet, 
does not actually negatively impact your glucose or your weight. In fact, it can actually lower your insulin resistance. Now, if you turn that potatoes into French fries or you add all sorts of stuff to it, that's a whole different story going on. All right, guys. So there you have it. Potatoes, I think, get a bad rap. As always, I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have questions, comments, or there's a topic you want to know about, drop those in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.